What's up guys, Dodger Under 95, and another night out here in the garage. My buddy Skinner's supposed to come out here after a little bit, but something I'm going to try and tackle that, sorry that no video has got any sort of editing except for one that we did when we were trying to do the lean-to there a year or two ago. Only one of those actually had some editing since I threw in a photo. But getting what this video is about is I'm going to be trying to make some Yahtzee dice or lawn Yahtzee. Figured there it would be a little nicer to do a homemade one. This is actually my, oh, that was my tested or my test one. I'm not looking for these to be 100% perfect and the message just messaged me so... So, yeah, took care of that message real quick here. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I'll show you guys how I got drill press set up. I actually just went and got my sander back from my cousin since he had to use it to do some drywall. So, and my apologies, I really need to do something about the lighting in here. But I got my drill press set down to about 41 millimeter which is a little over an inch and a half. So, I per me, I like the depth of the divots or pits, whatever they're called on the die. But you can, no oh crap. My little homemade stool is not the best right now. I'm probably better off just buying a couple. So, this one, this side was supposed to really be six, but I went nine just to play around with the depth. Some of them are a little deeper, some of them are a little shallower. This row, or these two rows here, are a little shallower. This row's got the three that are different depths. I like the 40 mil, or 41 mil, a little better than the others. Especially since I could probably take my router and really clean up the edges, take my sander, clean the faces up. The rest of them I have over here, these five, I've already done a little bit of cleaning up. One of them's got a chunk out of the corner, but those are going to be rounded off anyways. Actually, no, a couple of them got a chunk taken out of the corner. They're all going to get sanded up and cleaned up a little more. But all I used was some 4 by 4 chop saw, which that thing is older than me. And it's done pretty well. We've used it a couple of times. Er, actually, I've used it a few times actually around here. One was, had to replace the uh, sill on the house, or one of the sills on the house and use it to make this stool, which I probably should make a video on that. A little bit of hillbilly work and some things don't turn out too well. If y'all want to see me doing a video or multi-stage video on doing a wooden bench out of a, some logs, leave a comment. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to throw out some ideas for videos uh, where I'm making a bench out of logs, doing a, or making another stool. Or just fiddling around with the chop saw, try and get a little better at what, or get a little better working with it. Since I don't really do enough work with it to be all too good, or be very good at it. No idea when Skinner's supposed to be here. That sounds like he's already here. 
But, yeah. This is kind of the intro to this whole thing. So I think I'm going to cut it here. Next video will probably be where Skinner's here and we're working on it. So, take it easy, guys.